Hey guys, so top five animes of 2022, part one. Part two is gonna be in December when 2022 ends. So I plan on doing this now. I'm like the halfway point of the year. Well, technically not halfway point. Halfway would have been June, but this is August. Okay, so fifth place, Spy X Family. Usually I'm not a fan of Shonen stuff. Actually, now after watching this, I don't even know if this is Shonen. But hey, it says it on nine anime in the categories. For a Shonen show, this was really unique. I was surprised that I actually actually like this. The story is good. The romance is good. I really like the main characters. Very likable. It's funny and it's cute. Zack characters are meh, except for this guy. He's cool. But yeah, that's about it. The best part of this show is the family story. And I just love seeing their relationship with one another and how they're trying to get along more. If something were to happen for them to get separated, I feel like the episodes aren't going to be as good. And there's many ways that it could happen. So the anime has to like find a balance with like the family time that I want to see along with Lloyd's job and his struggles, problems with his job, George's job and her struggles. You know I mean, she just has one. She just needs to hide being an assassin and her brother. Lloyd has much more and he's dealing with much more side characters that I don't care about. No. So yeah, their job. And don't forget, World War 3 is about to happen. So I feel like something's going to happen that's going to temporarily break these guys apart for a bit. And I won't enjoy these episodes as much, but maybe I'll be wrong. Since season 1 ended, I was satisfied with season 1. And I can't wait for season 2. Alright, 4th place, Tomodachi Game. 5th and 4th place were hard to place. I was deciding whether I put Spy X Family or Tomodachi Game in 4th place. I enjoyed Tomodachi Game more. I hated the show in the beginning because they were copying Squid's Game. But I stuck with it in the story was really good the main character is the best part of the show like who doesn't love a genius yet badass character with like an evil aura time to time also he's pretty hot no homo there was a lot of plot twists in the show in the beginning that i didn't expect the only worry is i feel like this was underrated when it came out so i feel like we have to wait longer for the second season but the main character was the best part of the show he has the ability to manipulate people and come up with these 200 iq plans and i love seeing that all right number three rent a girlfriend and yeah i know i'm a shame on putting this on number three even though the anime isn't over yet it's like on the fifth episode on the time of this recording and these previous animes tomodachi game and spy x family they're definitely better than rent a girlfriend and way better stories but i don't know it's the character's romance relationship that makes me want to watch this even more season one was really good like i liked it i hate the main character for sure just seeing the competition with these girls i always wonder and it's obvious like who's gonna win come on now how the second season started off it was really good it almost made me emotional and then again this is the second season so we're already into the story more than the previous two animes they just started the first season but the story and like the pacing of it i really like it and you know it's romance i'm you know i'm a sucker for romance and hey if this second season gets a little worse you know it repeats itself nothing new then i'll definitely rank this lower but so far i'm satisfied uh the way it is right now i caught up on the fourth episode and yeah it's been great and the comedy is also so a great part of this show that I always love to see and they always kill it all the time. Number two is Love is War. Now, another romance anime, but it has better characters, a better story, and more funnier. And just the way this season ended, like when this show ends, this is going to be masterpiece level for a romance anime. Usually, like when a season ends, I literally think about the next season because I can't wait. But the way this ended, I was satisfied. And I know there's going to be another season, which is going to be awesome. But the way this ended, I'm glad it happened. You know, in a typical romance anime, you you, what's the main goal wait for the two to get together i still can't wait for the next season i think that's gonna be the last but yeah we saw the ship sail almost okay and now number one classroom of the elite season two now as much as i like romance animes i like romance animes with a great story action etc as long as it has bits of romance in it you know less is more that's the stuff i really enjoy and one of my favorite all-time genres in anime is psychological like dark psychological like tokyo ghoul parasite those types of stuff and from the fourth place of tomodachi game you know how i said i like the main character of tomodachi game because he's a genius yet an evil badass vibe it's the same with this character for classroom of the elite but the only difference is he's emotionless which is better and these guys are two geniuses the setting in tomodachi game the dude is stuck in a game then he has to like complete the games to go further and further for classroom of the elite this is just school and it's a student who's trying to you know live free but like he's forced to like by other people he has to help his class get higher and battle with the other classes to go for class a which is like the best class 
I personally like the school setting better because I don't know, I guess it felt more relatable. And this is also the second season. So we're already into gears. The first season was really good and nobody thought a second season was going to come out. And we were all shocked that it did. And just four episodes in of watching this, the way it started off, like I could already tell this is different than season one. This is more dark, psychological, and we're going to see more of Ayo Nakuji's, the main character, his badass side. And like, I already love the direction of this. Season Season one was like more welcoming, but this is like, now it's about to get dark and it's about to get real. Each episode, I'm like on the edge of my seat. So these are my top five. Number three and number one, Customer the Elite and Rent a Girlfriend. These are ongoing and the rest of them were finished. Let's see if my list changes for this year. If a new anime comes or if, you know, Rent a Girlfriend turns out to be sucky and Classroom of the Elite. All right, ladies, take care. Till December.